Hey guys, so it's your girl Tiff and I am back. Finally got my hands on the Lorac 2 Pro Palette and wanted to play a little bit. So I came up with this really cute, cool, gray tone look. If you guys wanna see how I achieve this look, you know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my face. I've actually already primed my face with my primer and I'm going in with the Smashbox foundation. I'm gonna apply that all over my face with my Beauty Blender. And you guys know this is kind of like my favorite way to apply my foundation right now. I just love that it gives you a really seamless and flawless application. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply that all over my face. Make sure to blend it in seamlessly. Once I have my foundation applied, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight. I'm actually using my MAC um, Pro Conceal Correct Palette, and I'm using the palette in the color medium deep, and the color that I'm using to highlight is actually the NW40. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a small um, concealer brush and apply that to my face. You guys know um, underneath my eyes, my chin, cupid's bow, nose, and forehead. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. I'm going to use the pointed side. I'm going to go and blend that in. Once my foundation and concealer is applied, I'm actually going to contour and I'm doing something different for my contour. I'm actually going in with the black opal foundation stick in the color black walnut. I'm going to go ahead and contour the sides of my face, my forehead, and my jawline. And so far, like I said, this is my first time doing this, but I actually like the way it comes out. I'm going to flip that beauty blender over and go ahead and blend that out. To set the areas I highlighted, I mixed two of my Ben Eye powders. I'm using the color Banana and Topaz mixed together to go ahead and set the areas of my highlight. Again, I like mixing the two of these when I do not want a really dramatic and strong highlight. I think it's really subtle but really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and just go and set that foundation, I'm sorry, set that highlight and get working. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I realize I have never done my brows on camera, so I want to show you guys my routine. I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate, and I use my Angle, what is it, Bedouin Tools Angle Liner. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my brows. Really simple, really quick. I always tell people your brows are sisters. They are not twins, so they are never always identical, okay? Once I have concealed my um, eyebrows, I'm going to go in and get my eye 
<laughs> get my eyes primed. I'm using my Groundwork Paint Pot by MAC as my primer for my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in. Once that's in, there goes that Lorac palette. <laughs> so I didn't even know what I wanted to do with my face till I actually opened this up and I just looked at that and was like, let's do something with gray. I've never done gray, so I'm gonna use the cool gray on my eyelid and just blend that in. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my Ben Nye powders just to catch any fallout I may have uh, for doing my eyeshadow. I'm going to make sure I have that eyeshadow um, nice and blended. I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush, no product on there, and just blend out the edges so that it's not harsh. Then I'm gonna go back in with that Lorac palette. I'm gonna use the color light brown. I'm gonna use that as my transition color. So I'm making sure to blend that in because as you guys probably have noticed in a few of my videos, I don't really do a uh, highlight under my eyebrow. I, if I do it, it's very rare. Um, I kind of let the concealer act as my highlight. So what I'm going to do now is take that black color. I'm going to actually kind of like apply a wing with the shadow. I'm going to pull it up into a wing shape and I'm going to go ahead and blend it up into my crease. All right, so once I have that on, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy blending brush and just add a little bit more of that black and then just blend it out a little better so that it's nice and seamless. So I've already applied my lashes. I actually use the Eyelure um, number 155. I'll have it listed in the description bar. Like right now, these are hands down my favorite lashes. Like, do you see those lashes? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and set the areas that I contoured my face with. I'm gonna use my um, Sleek Contour Palette in dark and just set every place on my face where I use my um, Black Opal Foundation. All right, and for my blush, I'm using two matte colors. I'm using the color Raisin and Flora Power. I can never pronounce that. You already know it's in the description, but I'm using that because it's really one of a really soft, mm, kind of pinkish berry tone for my cheeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there and just slightly blend that into my face. I completely forgot to set my face. I just completely forgot. So I'm actually applying some of my mineralized skin finish in deep dark just to my face just to kind of set those areas. Um, my face is done, but after looking at it, like I was not feeling my lips. Just, I didn't like it. So I made a really slight change. I actually took that lipstick off and went in with my Max Spike lip gloss. Like, I love this lip gloss. Like, I need to go back and buy about two of them. So this is the color Spike. This is applied to my lips. This is a gorgeous, like, mauve nude color so that's the look that I have on my face so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this look please like subscribe thumbs up share do it all and stay tuned for more videos